Hello. Uh, we will be talking about the Viata routers. Viata is an open source virtual router that provides VPN and firewall services along with routing services. It's built on a Debian-based Linux distribution and includes networking applications such as OpenVPN and Quagga. OpenVPN provides VPN services. Quagga provides routing protocol services. The basic Viata router provides a command line interface. A GUI interface is available for a licensing fee, or technically, a GUI interface was available for a licensing fee. However, Viata has sold their product to Brocade, and Brocade no longer offers uh, even the free distribution of Viata. Brocade does provide a virtual router, however, that virtual router must be purchased. Here you see the Viata command line interface. The default username password is Viata Viata. To log into the Viata router, you enter the default username, Viata, and the default password, Viata. And you're logged into the router. So let's take just a second to talk about the Viata router command line interface. There's two modes within the Viata router's command line interface operational and configuration mode. The operational mode is the mode you enter when you first log into the router. Uh, you can exit out of that, in other words, exit out of the Viata router with either command exit or log out. To move from the operational mode to the configuration mode, enter the command configuration. Within the Viata router, it's similar to Cisco that you can truncate commands. And as long as that truncated command is unique, the router will figure out what command you are entering. For example, I could enter either the command configuration by spelling out the entire word configuration, or I could truncate it with the command config. C-O-N-F-I-G. I could hit tab and it would finish completing the command to configuration or I could just hit return and it would enter the command configuration. To exit the configuration mode, you, you uh, enter the command exit. In the operational mode, you can enter any non-configuration command. For example, you could do the entire list of show commands. You could do save, power off, or reboot. Any of those operational commands, you can do the operational mode. In the configuration mode, you can do many of those operational commands, but not all of those operational commands. But more importantly, you can enter all the configuration. For example, you can configure the routing protocols, the interfaces, firewall settings, the VPN settings, uh, you configure all those in the configure mode. It is important to remember that when you enter a configuration, you have to make a decision before you can leave the configuration mode if you're going to save that configuration or not save it. And let me rephrase that. You have to make a decision before you leave the configuration mode if you're going to commit that configuration or discard that configuration. You cannot leave the configuration mode that you've entered, but you have not committed or discarded. So you can either commit it or discard it. Either way, if you decide to commit the configuration, that enters the command into the running configuration, but it doesn't enter it into the saved configurations. If you rebooted the power on the router, you would go back to the last saved configuration, not necessarily the, the last running configuration. To save a configuration so that that's what you reboot to, you have to enter the command save. That can either be done from the configuration mode or from the operational mode. Now let's go back to the router and see how we work our way through the router. Now we're back at the Viata router. Let's work our way through a little familiarization with this router. First, let me enter full screen mode by hitting Control alt enter so now we're at full screen mode and let's just start off with a little introduction to the show commands we can look at a lot of the status and the configuration of a router by using a series of show commands but let's just work through one of those commands you can enter the command show and let's say we want to look at the configuration so i can enter the command show configuration also i had mentioned earlier that viata supports truncated commands we were doing the show configuration instead of entering show and spell out the entire configuration, I can type in CONF. And if I hit the tab, it completes the rest of the command and it goes to show configuration. Let me show you one other thing. So in the previous step, I had entered show CONF and then the tab button to have it finish the command configuration. I don't need to even do that. I can just type in show CONF and then the next part of the command and it'll still do it. Let me show you the next part, which is the help menu. So you'll see that I'm not entering simply show configuration and return, because if I do, 
I'll get a fault. Next, let's look at the help menu. The help menu is simply the key question mark at the end of a command that you start to put in. Let's say we know what we want to see is something with a show command, but we don't know exactly what it is. So we do show and question mark at the end. And it comes up with a list of different possible commands that could come in after show. And so he here are all the options that we could type after show. So let's look at show system is next. So we'll do show system. And if we hit return, it says incomplete command. What are the options after show system? Let's do our help command one more time. So show system. Now, if I try and do a question mark right there, it doesn't really give me what the next command is. I put in a space question mark and it leaves me to do the next command after show system. So I could do show system, let's say we do login and it says it's an incomplete command. So we do show system login question mark and it gives us our options. The option is users. Now that we've looked at the very basics of using Viata's command line interface, let's configure some settings. Let's start off with configuring the host name. We have Viata at Viata, and then we have prompt dollar sign. This first Viata is the username that's currently logged in. The next Viata is the host name. And then the prompt dollar sign means that we are currently in operational mode. In order to do a configuration, we have to go into configuration mode. And what we're going to be changing is this second Viata, which is the host name. Let's go into configuration mode. And remember, we can use truncated commands, or we can hit tab, and it'll finish auto-completion. We now have a new prompt, which is a pound sign. The pound sign indicates that we're in configuration mode. So to set any kind of new settings, to set any new configurations in Viata, we start off with the command set. And to look at the options that we have from the command set, we're going to use the help function to determine what the options are from the set command. We have the options of cluster, firewall, interfaces, NAP. We are going to be setting system. So let's do set system, the help function again. So we see the options starting with configuration management. What we're interested in is setting the host name. So we have the option host name. Let's enter set system host name and we'll let auto complete here at the end of the command we could hit return and it'll come back with an error and it'll say that uh, we have to put in a value let's put in the value that we're going to use for the new host name so it's going to be set system host name and then we're going to enter the value so we'll enter the value router and return we get the response that says it was edited if we try and exit out at this point we're going to come back with an error that says we have an uncommitted change. So let's just show what that looks like. I type in the command exit and it says cannot exit configuration mode because we have an uncommitted change. We could either type in the command exit discard and it would discard that change or we could type in the command commit. We type in the command commit, it goes through the process of committing it. At this point, we could hit save, and whenever we rebooted it, the save would be permanently changed. However, we committed it, so right now it's only in the running configuration. If we don't hit save, we reboot it, it'll go back to whatever the previous setting was that is currently in the, the startup configuration. So we're going to do that. We're going to leave it just in the startup configuration. Right now, you see that even though we committed it, it's saying Viata. In order to see what the uh, new host name is, we need to exit back out. So we're going to exit all the way out or log out and come up to the uh, login prompt. And we're going to log back in as Viata. And now you see that the prompt says router. At this point, we could just continue on, do different configurations and it's going to remain as router until we come up to reboot. So we're going to enter the command reboot. And it asks if we really want to reboot. We're going to hit yes, and we're going to let it go through the reboot process. So now we've finished rebooting. So let's log back in. 
As you see, our host name is still Viata. So we're going to go one more time, and we're going to configure our host name and save it so that is router. Again, we go into configuration mode, and then we set system host name to router. We commit, and this time we will save. Now we have saved the configuration as router. We're going to exit back out, log out, and we will log back in. And as you see, our host name is router. Uh, we could reboot it, and when we came back, our host name would still be router. The next thing to look at is how to configure a username. Again, let's go into configuration mode. Let's start from the set menu. And again, we're going to go into system. The usernames are under the system. Set system is under login. So set system login. And again, we'll use the help function. And it's user. The help function one more time. And now it's asking for the new username, the text that's going to be the new user account. We're going to create our new user as student. We're going to set our new user as student, and let's do the help function one more time. And so it says next that we have to do authentication. So we're going to do authentication mode. Let's see what goes after that. So we can do encrypted password, we can do plain text password for encryption. Either way, they'll be encrypted at the end. And so we're going to do plain text password. And again, our help function. And so now we actually put in the password. And so the password we're going to use is going to be Garmin, 123. So now we have our new password and our user created. So let's commit our changes, save, and now we can exit and log out. So we're going to log in as student with our new password, Garmin123. If you look, we're student at router. So the user is student and the host name is router. That's orientation on the basic use of Viata's command line interface.